this video, I'm going to solve practice problems on osmotic pressure. As a quick reminder, the formula to calculate osmotic pressure is pi is equal to I MRT, in which I is the Van Hoff factor, M is the molarity of the solute, T is the temperature in Kelvin, and R is a constant. The first problem is a very simple one. We're given that our molarity value is 2 times 10 to the negative 2 moles per liter and our temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. And the question is, what is the osmotic pressure for those factors? So out of our formula, pi is equal to I M R T. Right now we have T and M, and we know that R is a constant, 0 0.08182 atmosphere times liter over mole times Kelvin. And well, the Van Hoff factor is, is equal to 1. And that's because we have a molecular compound. And well, the last thing we need to do is convert our temperature into Kelvin. So we add 273.15 to that to get that the temperature is 293.15 Kelvin. And then osmotic pressure is simply going to be the molarity, which is 2 times moles per liter times R is 0 0.0821 atmosphere times liter over mole times Kelvin times our temperature 293.15 Kelvin. So let's see if our units are right. This moles cancel out this moles, liters cancel out with liters, Kelvin with Kelvin, and our pressure is going to be in atmosphere, which makes sense. And well, the result is simply pi is equal to 0.48 atmospheres. So this was a simple problem, just, you just had to plug in all the values. Now let's do a, a, something a little bit more challenging. Okay, we have 20 milligrams of a solute in a temperature of 8 degrees Celsius. And when water is added, we get a solution of 2 milliliters. That's our volume. And it has an osmotic pressure of 3.5 torr. And, well, the question is, what is the molar mass of our solute? So first, let's identify what we have. We have the mass of the solute, we have the volume of the solution, the temperature, and the osmotic pressure. So out of the temperature and the osmotic pressure, we can obtain the molarity. When we have the molarity, we can obtain the moles, and the molar mass is simply the mass over the moles pretty much what we found right here, right here. So the first step we have to do is to find the molarity of the solution. And then like before, pi is equal to I M R T. I is one because it's it's also molecular. And the molarity is equal to pi over R T. R is our constant, so it's going to have the same value as before, 0 0.0821. And we plug in our values. We have 3.5 torr. Actually, we need to convert that into atmosphere. And that would be 0 0.0046 atmosphere. R 0.0821 liter atmosphere over mole Kelvin. And then our temperature is 8 Celsius, which we have to convert to Kelvin. We add 273.15 Kelvin, and that gives us 281.15 Kelvin. Let's check our units. Kelvin's cancel out. 
I don't know if you guys can tell. We're going to get moles over leaders because the order would change due to the division. Normality is equal to 1.9 times 10 to the negative 4 moles over liters. So this was our first step. This is one. Our second step was to obtain the number of moles. So that would we would find that multiplying our volume times the molarity. Here's our volume. We have to change that to liters, of course. And that would be number of moles is equal to 1.9 times 10 to the negative 4 moles over liter times 2 times 10 to the negative 3 liters. I'll write this on the following page so it looks better. So there we go, we have 1.99 times 10 to the negative 4 moles per liters times 2 times 10 to the negative 3 liters. We cancel out the liters, we'll get moles. So then the number of moles is equal to 3.98 times 10 to the negative 7 moles. That is our second step. And our third and final step is to obtain the molar mass by dividing the mass over the number of moles. And we have a mass of 20 milligrams, which is equal to 0 0.02 grams. We then plug in the values we had, 0.02 grams over 3.98 times 10 to the negative 7 moles, and we're going to get 50,251.3 grams per mole. That is the final answer. So those were the two problems I, I wanted to cover for smallest pressure. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. And if you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one.